your well-deserved vacation at welldeservedvacation.com. Book your well-deserved vacation at welldeservedvacation.com. Vacation at welldeservedvacation.com. Hey, book your well-deserved vacation at welldeservedvacation.com. Where in the world is welldeservedvacation.com traveling to today? vacation.com and we got an exciting video today. We are cruising the Panama Canal. You know Panama Canal is on everybody's bucket list. We started off in Los Angeles and we're gonna hit five countries. We're gonna hit Mexico, we're gonna hit uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Colombia, and Aruba. And then we're gonna end up in Fort Lauderdale. So we're going from the Pacific Ocean all the way through to the Atlantic Ocean to the Panama Canal. We're also on Princess and Princess Cruise Line gave us the complete status. As you can see here in the black card, you can see all the amazing benefits and perks of being elite status with Princess as well. So, really excited. I want you guys to enjoy this video. And again, you know when it's time to book your well deserved vacation, you know where to book it at. Welldeservedvacation.com. Enjoy, friends. Panama Canal. Baja Deck 11 B204. This is a mini suite, as you can see here, very spacious, ton of room, and this is the 11th floor. You can see there's a ton of room for all your clothes, and there's also another closet here for some more of your clothes. There's also a safe in there for your special belongings. You have your nice bathroom here, very spacious, and you have that nice tub to soak and relax. You know, I need that, especially if this is a 15-day cruise. Definitely need that mini suite for that tub. You can see here, welcome aboard, the Princess logo. This is a queen-size bed, very comfortable. Those of you know, Princess beds are very comfortable. There's a desk to read, work. There is the mini bar set up. If you are elite, they give you a free mini bar set up. You can see there's a variety of liquors. You also get some soda, some beer. Again, complimentary with your elite status. You can see here, there's a long couch. This is a long extended living room instead of a balcony. Now, most mini suites do have balconies. The majority of them do, but this does not. So it does have a larger space for you to invite your new friends to have some drinks and some new <laughs> And as you can Jeez. see, there is a, a lot of room. You know, you guys can just, you know, you can see we're very comfortable here. Just, you know, relaxing, having a good time here in the mini suite. That was our home for 15 days cruising the Panama Canal. So to become elite level status with Princess Cruises, you need to have cruised 16 cruises with Princess or 151 cruise days, and you get all the platinum level benefits from the previous tier, as well as Complimentary grapevine wine tasting. As you can see here, you get several glasses of wine, all different kinds, all very nice, very delicious, and very classy. And most of all, very free, very complimentary when you are elite. So as an elite member, you get to get some complimentary canopies in your stateroom. Maximum of six pieces. Anytime between four to ten. So look, I selected the smoked salmon, cheese and golden caviar, poached cocktail prawn on sesame crouton, grassini wrapped with cured parma ham. Amazing. So you fill out that form and you hang it on your door and I requested for it to come by at five o'clock. And when I returned to my room after five o'clock, there it was. 
So probably for me, the most impressive thing about being elite is you get free complimentary laundry service. As you know, after a long cruise, a 15-day cruise like this one, you got a ton of clothes. They're very dirty. Boom. All clean, all pressed, all folded nicely. You send it away. It comes back completely brand new. There's all your shirts, all ironed, all starched. I mean, this is very impressive. Had you had to pay for this, probably would have been easily $50 to $60. It's all there, all hung nicely. They bring it back, hang it up nicely for you. Again, all totally free if you're elite. So after a few days at sea, we arrived at our first port. And if you've done the Mexican Riviera before, you probably already realize where we are right now. Yes, we're in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. It's one of the more popular locations for destination weddings because of all the beautiful uh, hotels and resorts on the beach. They also have a lot of all-inclusive resorts as well. So you can see a lot of people go parachuting like this man right here. He's getting really high up there. And uh, yeah, there's so many activities to do here in Puerto Vallarta. The beach is about 15 minutes walking distance from the cruise ship. And if you don't want to go to the beach, you also have an endless amount of tours and excursions to choose from, such as tequila tasting to zip lining, and you name it. There is uh, so many things to do here in Puerto Vallarta. That's why it's one of the more popular ports for cruises not just in Mexico, but all over the world. The next day we arrived in Huatuco, Mexico. Huatuco is a lot more low-key, less crowded, more smaller, intimate beaches, a lot of uh, souvenir shopping, things of that nature. And it's also known as the gateway to the Pacific Riviera. So after that, we head back to sea for one day. And then the following day after that, we arrived in San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua. Nicaragua has so many things to see and do, but probably the top thing to do right here in San Juan del Sur is to check out the Masaya Volcano National Park. But if you don't want to spend the money and you want to just uh, explore on your own, you can definitely go and hike up the hill to the Christ of the Mercy statue. It is the large Jesus statue. It's about 134 meters tall, as you can see here. It's on top of this hill. So you hike up this hill, it'll take about 45 minutes. And once you get to the top, you get uh, amazing views of the village, the sea. It uh, really is an amazing uh, thing to witness firsthand. And then the next day, we're in Punta Reñas, Costa Rica, where we get to go on a rainforest aerial tram, as well as a crocodile river cruise. If you go to the Caribbean side of the country, it rains about a 500 or 600 inches of water. So, the rainforest of Costa Rica is in the Caribbean side and south of the Pacific. Today, we are in the Pacific side of Costa Rica, which is drier than the Caribbean side. So today, we are in the central Pacific of the country, just between the dry forest and the rain forest. So besides monkeys, there are sloth, toucans, trogons, hummingbirds, um, deer, uh, pecaris, Pecaris are uh, wild pigs. Uh, we also have agouris. It's like a big rodent. It looks pretty much like a capybara. Um, and also snakes, all kind of wildlife. This wild, wild species spanning the whole city. Starting all the nutrients coming from the wood and the whole city to the branches. Now, or 70 years later, the host of tree are the sandbox tree or habibio tree. Has everybody seen this? He says that could be a meter long, could be like three feet, and it's at least five, seven years old. Mm -hmm. So the ones we want you to see today, hopefully we'll see them, they, some of them may be 80 years old. 57, and further right, 
You see another crocodile, so with another crocodile, we'll, we'll try to get very close. Two of them. The water is deep enough here for our driver to do the thing. Everybody saw the big bear on the left hand side? Caribbean side, sandbox, river mouth. You see the ocean. We don't go inside of the ocean because even though there are small waves, we had a flood. Panama Canal. Consisted of swinging bridges from which uh, girders were lowered to the lock floor. Maybe Still, the shippers could then be run down these girders to block the flow of water. Monthly drills were held by night and day to make sure that these dams could be deployed in a You're covering your hat. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. Years from the opening of the Panama Canal. Shortly after the bridge was opened to Factory Bay, I'm going to, to get to this in a few moments. But we are heading to the Centennial Bridge and to the Guyana Cut or the Bulela Cut. So if you've recognized that flag, we are now in Colombia. The next day we arrived in Cartagena, Colombia. Here is the famous San Felipe fortress or castle, if you will. Uh, these are the things I love the most, the ruins, the castles, the fortresses. I find the most intriguing. Then we were able to hop on this wonderful horse and carriage ride throughout the city of Cartagena to check out all the beautiful sites and historical things but you need to watch out for the dangerous mimes like this guy jumps in your carriage and he's a mime, very creepy and he attacks you with this dirty ketchup bottle so be prepared for that. Cartagena is known for having the most beautiful colorful walls in the world. As you can see, these city walls are very colorful. I'll let you enjoy this for yourself. These walls are so beautiful that you don't even notice that this man is floating here. No one seems to care. I just walk by like it's normal. So I'm gonna let you enjoy this video and uh, yeah, see for yourself how Cartagena is through the eyes of a horse and carriage ride. And then we reach our final country, which is Aruba. Aruba is a Dutch Caribbean island country located south of the hurricane belt, which means it is often safe and out of harm's way of the hurricanes during hurricane season. In Aruba, we check out the famous rock formations as well as their famous natural bridge and the California lighthouse, as well as Eagles Beach, which is voted one of the top 10 beaches in the world. Here is the Cassibari rock formation. We're gonna show you how it is to walk up and climb on top of this. How is it up top? Oh, it's nice. nice. Good breeze, real pretty. Thanks. The war some hiking I was shoes. just about to say, I mean, you really <laughs> expect to climb up. Oh man. Yeah, you wanna go down?
pretty amazing what they set up after yesterday's call. What's that? That's pretty amazing what they set up here after yesterday's call and you called them up to tell them, yeah, we need, I need a rock formation. <laughs> um, international business and economy and then that's always what you learn, it depends on. So whatever the economist says is, is the answer? Yeah, that's the answer, it depends on. The pants on or put your pants on? <laughs> How about that? Put your pants back on. Well, this one. You get a good one view. Way up, one way down. Yeah. But look at that, you get a good view of that. Yeah. So you really see how nice that is. Yeah. We're going to try that Aruba beer. So here is the baby natural bridge. The original natural bridge was much larger and it was actually Aruba's number one tourist attraction for years and years and fortunately about 10 years ago that one collapsed. So now all we have is this baby natural bridge. This is the world famous California lighthouse. It was constructed in 1916 after a steamship that was wrecked nearby in 1891 with the same name of California. And this is the world famous Ego's Beach. It's ranked one of the top 10 beaches in the world. So you can see it's very clean, very calm, peaceful, relaxing. A lot of people come here just to relax. And it is right across from a lot of resorts. A lot of resorts are right across the way. A lot of all-inclusive resorts as well. So that is why Ego's Beach is definitely a prime location. So after Aruba, we're back at sea for the final two days on our way back to Fort Lauderdale. So what I would do, I would highly suggest eating all the delicious food the princess has to offer. Take a look there. They have New York style pizza. It's very delicious, very fresh. Princess has some of the best food on cruise lines, period. Look at that. That's their buffet. This is just the buffet, ladies and gentlemen. Look at what you get there. Very delicious, very fresh ingredients. Everybody knows. Princess is known for their delicious food. And look at that view right there from the buffet area. If you didn't know, Princess acquired the rights to The Voice, so they have their own show, The Voice of the Ocean, which is pretty much just like the real show, The Voice. So you got the judges spinning in the chairs, the whole nine yards. And it's very fun. It's very intriguing. You get to see uh, people you met on the ship compete and, yeah, get up on stage and do it all. And so here is the final balloon drop party at the end of the cruise. Definitely participate in this. Definitely dance. Look at that lady there on the elevator. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. It's just like Times Square, uh, New York during New Year's Eve. And, you know, it's very, you know, it's the end of the cruise. Everybody's just, you know, having a good time dancing, singing along. It's the perfect way to end a cruise. So thank you so much for joining us on this 15-day journey through the Panama Canal. We hope we showed you how it is and answered any questions you might have. So when you're ready to book your well-deserved vacation cruising the Panama Canal, you know where to contact us at welldeservedvacation.com for all the best deals, for all the best promotions, you name it, we could do it all for you at welldeservedvacation.com. Give us a call, message us, contact us. We'll be looking forward to hearing from you. So thank you so much for joining us on this journey and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Welldeservedvacation.com, friends. Thank you.